DX Racer Master Unboxing of the chair and first impressions Oops What's inside? Ah. Ta-da! It's a brown colorway. And there's also black, which I almost got. So, unless I have any issues with the build, I will not post the process. And looks like it's all packaged very nicely. All right. So the first interesting thing is that all these wheels are press fit. There is no screws. You just take it and you press it down, which is, I don't know, doesn't seem that reliable to me. Yep, that's how it is. And you get a full box of these plastic parts which are only cosmetic and they go on the other side of this um, I don't know how to call this, five leg thing alright so I finished installing four of these weird plastic cosmetic pieces that serves absolutely no purpose it's like they included it just just to have it, just so that people could assemble something and feel better about themselves um, so you press it in like that then you see these um, things, posts and just press it in and now it's flush so yeah I don't know why they put so much effort into these but I'm not really complaining my dad is checking out my chair, he likes it he's reading the instructions because we have one screw that is not used anywhere <laughs> alright so first impressions after about two hours of just sitting on a chair playing on my phone this is how it looks like it's in brown color, big pillow, kind of a thin padding on the lumbar and back, which is fine. Fully adjustable armrests. Uh, this is the tilt, tilt lever. This is the, uh, oh, it's the one that locks the tilt. Uh, this locks it. Oops, never mind. That's the height adjustment. This is the one that locks the tilt completely. This one that this is the mode that allows slight uh, rocking. Anyway, um, the pillow is one of the cons. I'll start with the cons. It moves really loudly and it's kind of hard to move. Every time you move it, you feel like uh, you feel like it's uh, right. You feel like you're breaking something, but you're not. This is how it looks from the back. Just has the master logo. This looks like a four, so I always thought this was a number four. Uh, one cool thing is that it doesn't come with a lumbar pillow, which I think are lame. Instead, you have integrated lumbar support using this, um, I guess, skeleton feature. And the cool thing about this is that you can move it, you see? You can move it up and down. So, you're not stuck with it just sticking out right here. You can make it stick out here. Sorry for my lack of vocab. Um, this is obviously replaceable. You can change it to mesh. And this piece as well. I haven't taken it out, but I know it's also attached uh, using Velcro. 
Uh, one weird thing is that here there's a little gap, here there is no gap. The armrests are adjustable and they're they can they're locked in their position. So right here there is this for forward and backwards. This where is it? I think this for sideways. And this is for height. Yeah. It's a gaming chair. But it doesn't really look like it. So the bad thing about gaming chairs is they're usually based on some kind of racing chair. And you know, we're just sitting there playing games or working sometimes. And you don't want, you're not taking sharp corners and, you know, having a seat belt on and stuff. So you don't need all the wings. I guess this is what you call the wings that usually extend all the way here. So this has a really wide, uh, I guess, thigh area or wherever you like put your butt on. And these wings on here, on your shoulders, are actually very mild. So the big complaint with the gaming chairs is that when you sit, your shoulders are always here. And this always pushes forward and makes you like makes you kind of slouch and develop a I think they call it a nerd neck or nerd head where your head is always like forward. The pillow it looks big but it's actually memory foam so it sinks kind of deep. And when you continue to use it, kind of stays, um, you know, flat. So really awesome pillow. Way better than those that, you know, just Velcro in the back, have some weird, like, plastic cutout here for some stupid reason. Yeah. I like it. Let me zoom out a little. Okay, so this is how you adjust the lumbar. Here, to the left. See, it's sticking out. This is at its max. This is kind of thin, but I really like the fact that it's thin. You don't want, you know, you don't want it too soft or too thick. This is a rubber finish, but like hard rubber. So, yeah. There's a little bit of play, but I really don't mind it. Oh, one cool thing is that it actually tilts. It says it tilts to 155 degrees, but I almost feel like it's 180. Right. Okay, yeah, it does look like 155 degrees. Oh, but when you're sitting on it and you tilt, you feel like it's 180 because it gets scary at full tilt. And when you're at 180, which uh, some other chairs allow, it's going to be weird. Yeah, so this is the leg mechanism. This is what allows you to tilt that far. This thing is really heavy, this thing. It's like maybe 20, okay, like definitely 10 kilos, slightly north of 10. Anyway, love it, like it. One of the best quote unquote gaming chairs. It will pass for an office chair. No stupid wings, no excessive lumbar pillows. Uh, doesn't scream, I'm a racer. Comes in black, brown, red, I think white. But this is the best color. All right, goodbye.